Hi, I'm Jim with Event Sound and Lighting. In this video, we're gonna go through the setup and the operation of the JBL PRX-1. Let's get right to it. When you get it uh, to your location, you're gonna have two pieces. You're gonna have a bag that has two tops in it and then just a cover over the sub. And just for demonstration purpose, we have it uh, up a little bit higher off the ground so you can, uh, you can see it a little bit better. Um, the controls are in the back, as you can see, and I'm gonna turn it around, and there you go, there's the front. So let's take them out of the, uh, the bag, the zipper bag. You get two sticks. There's one, you can always tell the top one has the JBL logo on it. And we'll put that over there. And so this one, you can see the bottom goes in here like that. And the top one goes in here like that. And um, also let's just talk real quick about tearing it down. When you tear it down, you can just wiggle them and kind of pull and they'll come out pretty easily. Uh, so just so you know, when you tear it down. So let's plug it in, power's in the back. And the power button is located the back control panel, top left. Hold that for about two to three seconds. And it'll take a few seconds for it to, to come on. This particular JBL product has two different modes. There's a channel mode and a mix mode. You have to always make sure you're in the correct mode. I'll explain what the modes are. So if you're in the mix mode, and you can tell you're in the mix mode when you hit the mode select and all the lights are on. And the mix mode is kind of like you're on a regular mixer and you're just operating the faders, the volumes. So you can go to any channel on the back and you can turn it up or down just like you would on a regular mixer. So that's the mix mode. Now when you go to the channel mode, one light will show up. That light signifies the channel that you are working on. And when you are in a channel, you have a choice of, on the far left, you have gain, and then you have bass, mid, treble, reverb, delay, and chorus. So if you tap one of the channels, you are now in that channel strip, meaning you can select, you can change the gain, you can change the bass, treble. So let's say you're in channel one, you have it selected, and if you turn up right below channel one, it says gain, that'll be how much sound you're letting in to the mixer. So now if you go over to bass, you can turn that and you can talk on the mic and hear the bass as you turn it up or down, depending on where you want it. Same thing with the mid, the treble, and reverb, if you want any reverb. So then you would go to channel two. So let's say you have two mics plugged in. So once you're in channel two, the light is lit up on channel two. You can adjust again the gain, so how much sound you're letting in the mixer, and then you can adjust your tone with bass, mid, and a little bit of treble maybe. So you can do each one of those. So that's your microphones. The other thing is you wanna get your phone hooked up. To hook up your phone, you wanna hit the back button always it can get you into the, the first screen. And then you would hit the, it says main menu, you tap that and go down to settings, tap it again. And then you have BT audio pairing, which obviously stands for Bluetooth audio pairing. And you can click that and it'll, Start sending out Bluetooth signal. Your phone should pick it up. It'll say JBL PRX1 
click it, you're ready to go. The Bluetooth volume is channel seven. So again, you wanna go to mix mode, which all the lights are on, go to channel seven, and you can turn it up or down. And if you wanna maybe do a little more like with gain, you select channel seven, and you can go to your gain setting, how much sound you're letting in. And remember on your iPhone, your volume is also a gain. And then a bass and treble, you can adjust those as well. So you should have full control with your phone. We also will give you a eighth inch to eighth inch cable as a backup. And there is on the back here, there is an eighth inch jack, just like on your iPhone or your computer or your iPad or something, same kind of thing. So eighth inch to eighth inch, and you could just set your device right on top of this unit. Same thing if you rented a wireless, it's a great place to put uh, the wireless receivers right on top. So I hope this helps you out a little bit on the running of the PRX1 made by JBL. And then of course, put it back. You just undo the two top pieces, put them in their case, slip the cover over, and you're all ready to bring it back to uh, event sound and lighting. So remember, we are your DIY experts.